here on Vertigo. This was all about Floppy, and I think Kerrigan knows that coming into the match. But there's so much to talk about in so little time. We've got Kerrigan up top in B on this pistol round, trying to find these Cloud9 members. There's four of them right there, ready for him. So Woxic opens up this best of three with a frag towards the B site. Rops is going to go down empty-handed, and that's the B site completely clear for the taking. Floppy is going to play close proximity, four teammates beyond him to lock in this round. I think they're literally saving, like this is not even... But here's a situation where they come through with a fast B split. The shots are being connected. Cloud9 are probably fired up off of their last performance, but this match would mean the world. Just getting this win. Alex going to get boosted up behind the wood on the B site. There's a player right on the other side. Rops. Rops sees his head and takes him down. Not going to fall for that one. Mezzi, however, gets the player deeper in the bomb site, and now he's going to pressure. That frag grenade, awkward little bounce. Oh, I like that. Negligible damage in the end, but Rops is still right in position, hanging on to the double orange. He could very well screw over these three players because he's wrapped beyond them. They don't know where he's gone off to. Rops losing teammates as Floppy comes up from the staircase to take him down. Very cool attempt. Cool with the K but now it's frozen in the clutch. Very much outnumbered. Sees the peak of the first one. Woxic's gonna be taken to 29 health and frozen, no utility, no kit currently on him. Kilter smoke, maybe stepping into the line of fire of, of Mezzi. Mezzi set that up with a nade to the right to try to encourage Rops to move, but almost every other player except for Rops. Chris J trying to reclaim some ground here on the short shelf. Alex will actually open up on Kerrigan, taking that threat out. But Kerrigan gets some more damage off, and Frozen will finish off Floppy. Chris J's up on short this entire time. So Cloud9 finally running into a bit of trouble, and it comes in the form of an A hold. Kerrigan from behind the sandbags really opening up. Cloud9 were very quick to run up ramp and they ate so much utility damage. Nobody really kind of kept that in the front of their mind and it cost them. Let's see what walks it can do in terms of damage with 20 seconds and the bomb on his back. He has a heads up 1v1. If he can just kill Rops, then there's a chance walks it's on for the clutch. But Rops is just going to go ahead and hide behind the cover. B mass coming over and Rops playing with a minimal peek to get Mouse Sports on the board. Really risked it. Oh no. Floppy versus B mass. That's a big mid fight. I think keeping an eye on Floppy throughout most of these rounds is going to be a key piece, perhaps, to the T's success. But Alex, nice double kill coming off of the ramp. That first barrel stuff into Kerrigan is everything. Chris J taking to the top of the box, falls off as we see tons of utility start to soar forward. They've got both sides of the A site to ensure their plant. Floppy oh. has fallen away from middle, joined them at the base of ramp. Mezzi's going to take damage through the wall bang, though. And Chris J almost given a shot versus Alex. What is with these in-game leaders and challenging oppers? Alex picks up another kill. He has done everything for Cloud9 in this seventh round. Jesus, Kerrigan peeking twice and, and, and getting out of dodge. And then Frozen dropping a shot, a spray like that. Like those are the kinds of kills that Frozen needs to be good for every single time. Alex thinking about this lurk, gonna get caught by Chris. Easy pickup with the op. That's a man advantage, 20 seconds on the clock. And they're walking back to a last second B hit execution. This is all on B mass. We just talked about his ability to lock down mid. He just needs to stay inside of quad, but he goes peeking outwards. They need to frag him, take him off of the double box. He fights them tooth and nail, supported by Chris J. Bemass gets a second for Mouse Sports. Oh, monster stuff by Bemass. And yet they've not yet been killed. We'll see if they can fight their way out of this. Chris J, he's going to drop a shot on short. 20 seconds for Cloud9 to get themselves on this A site. Mezzi taken down by Frozen. It is nothing but Mouse Sports on the kill feed. Total shutdown until Woxic has some sort of an answer, but it's minimal at best. Not the cleanest affair here as they try to get onto the A site. They get shut down all coming up the ramp. We're so focused in there on Chris J because his kill is pivotal, right? If he dies on short shelf, they can wrap that way. Chris J eats the flash, has a teammate right here to help him on the B site. 
That being Rops, of course, but S a tag on the kill feed yet again. Nice extension from Kerrigan. Goes right in for the trade, realizing the risk he takes because anybody else from Cloud9 could have come charging through this smoke, but Kerrigan goes in for second, serving the third, a fourth from Kerrigan. Totally shut down on the A ramp, and Mouse Sports clawing back this lead. And again, some of the regular utility that'll land forward, lots of impact grenades. Oh, such a great peek from Essatag. He narrowly dodges. Oh my god, the op shot from Chris J and punishes the repeat. But a Molly on the bomb site and Frozen going for a follow up peek. Ooh. All this is is a chance for Woxic to run rampantly over to the B site. And do they realize just how deep Alex already is? You can see Robs with a bit of a hesitation swinging into it. But what a deeg shot from Alex. And he's looking for another one. But BMAS bests him. Woxic in the post plant. All he has is the deagle. And off oh! with the flash. Woxic blasts Frozen. Can he close it? A bit more damage. But Mouse Sports sustain a sixth. Cloud9, gonna be using that utility on both sides. CT's peak, they want a piece of this, and it works out good enough to get back a 3v3. Then the CTs throw the fire. They don't know that he's left here, so still not gonna be an easy spot. Oh, goodness gracious. That molly, if that molly spreads, you think still he's dead. from behind him too. The molly might be gassing. Oh, oh he misses. Footsteps. And Alex, he'll go one for one. The trades are coming back. It's better for the CTs. S Down to S tag. He knows somebody dropped on the other side of default. Let's see if he can grab these kills. He'll find the first. Oh what? my god, he's looking for the second. Six seconds. Clocks out. Shots out. Robs close. <laughs> closes. And Mouse Sports with a one round lead. Holy hell. Robs over here at B. There's a lot of individuals showing up. There's the first kill. Oh, no trade in sight. So tags Molotov's gonna make this awkward. Extinguishes it. And sticks around, man. Don't you fall to your death. Rops hits the head of Esetag. Frozen, though, that's going to be the casualty that could open things up for Cloud9. They are working with little. Alex, Galil, Deagle on Woxic. Flashbang for the peak from Kerrigan. Now that bomb's been thrown over, but a Deagle and a second. And, oh, there's a chance for this third. But he cools off, backs up, and falls at the hands of Mouse Sports. A three-round lead. And look at that spree. And it is a pistol, so it's a bit different. Oh, Kerrigan. They came to look for him, and then they turned back their attention. The problem is he's going to shave off so much time. Somebody, at least one of the players, has to come deal with him. Or at least keep eyes in this direction. But now they start pushing in. It's the fire of Alex Kerrigan finally hitting that flank. And has he served enough of a distraction? Absolutely. Floppy inside of the site. Everybody dies. Headshots galore. And Mouse Sports with at least one more. Gonna look to overwhelm this solo. Behold, Mezzi delivers a deagle headshot. A little something for Cloud9. I mean, this could transition into an excellent save. You're not gonna retake this bomb site, odds are. Just walk away, boys. Oh my god, <laughs> yes, that absolutely lined up perfectly. We just go for the random spam is the question. Yeah, Frozen's gonna find a bunch of them in the spawn, though. Two taps with the Mac 10 delayed spray for a little bit more damage somebody can get that scout and still leave but they need to kill frozen now and well he's just gonna tear him up oh my god the money he is making all of them in the end frozen four kills with the mac 10 that is cash in his back pocket we took that pause oh, he's but close don't forget for a moment it's 11 rounds in a row for mouse sports and rops is looking to take a 12th gets back what was a man advantage. Woxic, deep angle here. He could hit a shot, fade away. I find Vertigo B ramp is such a good place to actually get that op on cycle. You can hit him, reposition, and look to hit him again. But B mass waits no time. Holy Drops Woxic head. Alex, he's gonna go ahead and pop up, but only good for the first one. Floppy with the double from the site. And now Rops reactivates over towards construction, and he gets hit from Essatag in Elevator. Cloud9 put an end to the spree of Mouse Sports. 30 seconds to spare. Cloud9's other two players trying to rotate over, but a boost back on CT spawn. Excellent for another angle. And that's the bomb carrier, so things get delayed a bit further. And Cloud9 have an edge, but the plant comes through. BMAS, he's got the top rope. And as he falls back, 
It's the elevator that's now in question. Cloud9 on the cusp of an exit. Chris J sees their shoulder, doesn't shoot just yet. Now that he's tapped off a couple shots, his position is compromised, but frozen through the smoke and BMAS in from short. It's three kills for them in total. Floppy having to clutch this. A 1v3 knocked down. And Mouse Sports now. It looks like he's holding it quite tight for this reason. But look at Woxic on the A site getting shooed away. Oh my god, the long distance mow down here on Floppy. Rob wins Ooh. his duel instantly, and it's just headshots for Mouse Sports. The individual's looking extremely crisp. Chris J into the CT spawn. Three headshot frags for Mouse Sports. Finally, an answer as Mezzi's off connects to just the first, and that's all he's gonna get here. The double op setup not given a chance to shine because Mouse Sports kills everybody between them first and foremost. A 15th round for Mouse Sports absolutely completely countering this map pick. Kerrigan holds the corner of the smoke. Here's that utility bouncing by him. Does he decide to activate off of it? Absolutely. Three rapid kills coming in for Mouse Sports. And if you couldn't see this from a mile away, it's probably because you're blind. Mouse Sports absolutely going to pick up this map now. And that does not bode well for Cloud9. We're going to be shifting our feet onto Inferno after this. A map where Cloud9 started their careers versus Virtus Pro, where they were absolutely dismantled. Can Alex come in with the 1v3 to at least delay the inevitable? He makes the jump at style points, but style's all he's got because the dignity's ripped away. Congratulations, Mouse Sports, on a masterclass performance here in Map 1. I'm shocked. I think, as was mentioned by Pimp on the desk, the veto looks good for Mouse Sports. Where that blunder took place. We walk in with eyes open. Beretta's in position for Alex. Floppy's gonna get gushed, and he draws the players into him. Now the Berettas look to thread them, but it's BMAS with the kill here. Floppy's gonna still be able to stand his ground. Another headshot from Floppy. The Executioner. All three kills thus far from Cloud9, and Woxic's aggression out from Apartments was oh. meant to kill Chris J. He will die to the grenade of Mezzi, so all good for Cloud9. Four members standing at the end of the first pistol. Uh, not a bad pistol. What do we have to bring? And again, it's, it's going to be a lot of paying attention to what are the looks, both from the T and CT side on Banana. Floppy goes one for one. BMAS trades. Mezzi trying to come in with a flank. His life is now in jeopardy as he can get pushed from both sides. Awkward position. Alex had his back, Oof. but Frozen will punish Alex. This has opened things up dramatically. The doors swing wide open in this round for Mouse Sports. They are low on HP, but with this many players, they can spread the map in unique ways. They're going to over... Whelm the halls and put a lot of pressure now on Woxic to multi-frag. Deagle's good for two and almost the third, but Frozen's going to ice him out. It's Essa Tag's turn to try and clutch this. Rops 19 health, Frozen on 100, MP9 in hand. Now, of course, both players spotting one another. Rops, he's trying to come in from behind. Essa Tag better clear his flank right now or get around the corner, but he's still exposed. This should be an easy kill for Rops, and he lines up the headshot before pulling the trigger. Uh, Mouse Sports with a robbery of a round. Spreading the map a bit more evenly. Mouse Sports coming back into the three-player setup. There's a good peek from Floppy. He'll find the correct timing. The flash he eats afterwards will displace his aim enough that BMAS can trade him out. But it's still a three-on-four, and the rotations will start to come over from the CT side as well. Challenging lane pushes Mezzi into an important position. He's playing off the side of the smoke. He also has Alex committed to the small pit. Seven seconds left. Alex comes out of this. We've got BMAS planting in the backside. Alex going to take down his teammate Ooh, okay. and continues the spray for a third one. A third round even for Cloud9 here. Map gets quite P-sided the lower numbers you get. Frag timing's decent. BMAS gets softened up. Chris J's inside of the site, but Mezzi, he's got himself a double. Kerrigan from the hay bales, only able to answer with one. So as the bomb gets dropped on short side, well, Rops sent in to try and pick up some pieces. I love that. Um, I love that execute. The flashes they used, the continuation flashes, they supported Chris J so that he didn't even have to clear anything. They kept going to po one final one to pop Ooh. over top of his head. An actual collateral with that deagle. That 
shot on floppy. He'll caught. He'll get caught jumping. It's just rops inside of boiler. You eventually start to expect this. So Alex on high alert. Now Mouseports having lost that A player. They're just going to look to sink themselves into the B site. Kerrigan sees a man jump behind new box. That's Woxic. He's got Essatag and Floppy on a spawn to try and help him. But now with the site cleared, Kerrigan, he's unleashed. And Mouse Sports with three kills across the kill feed are suddenly in a comfortable position, or they would be if they had more health to work with. Alex oh. challenging from Khan, takes two heads off, and it's all on Chris J. But I mean, we all know this guy can clutch. And they may think he's on the back of the site. They make a fatal error. Now it's down to the one versus one. And Chris, he can just play this time. Bomb ticked beyond the halfway point. Mezzi, he's starting to stick this down to the final second. Chris J. Oh, no. Wow. Without arch control, they're kind of smoked out of the situation. F CT is wide open. This is awkward. Nice oh, wow. Alex yeah. throws that one from balcony. Floppy primed for it. I was wondering where he's going to get that control from. And look at Alex as well. He's taking a liberty here, walking all the way through the halls. Essatag playing in a retake position. Might take one peek here. They line up. Easy pickings for Essatag. Then the Molotov comes in as well. Three kills for him. Cloud9's logo on fire. This is just like the start of Vertigo. Smoke's currently on both sides of the banana. Tries to use the flash to convince Woxic off of it. But, I mean, easy peek right in straight thereafter. Kerrigan now going to try and lead this charge up Arch. Woxic near omnipresent, but Frozen, he will find two headshots. A double kill at the bottom of mid as the B players go charging behind them, and Arch is already under the control of Mouse Sports. That B site cleared by two kills in mid. Cloud9. My goodness, my man. I don't know what's going on. He's lift the spell for now. Woxic, gonna try and set that off up in mid. Good gamble, we've got a fight over towards Banana. Essatag looking at the dirt, and Chris J, well, laying on the hurt, at least for the first one. Frozen and BMAS also coming in with kills. We've got a near team ace. It would just take Kerrigan to find this last one. B site completely clear, Rob's doubles down, and Mouse Sports third round now. Oh my, oh my. Good amount of rifle kills on the hold. Hey, he did it with a Falmus. It's all about stopping him going into B. Wow, an amazing entry here from Kerrigan. He never fails to impress these days with some of these opening kills. Wasting zero time getting into the CT spawn. Oh, walks like he's getting caught off guard here, isn't he? He's yep. running into this angle. Chris oh. K will punish him and maybe pick up his favorite gun. No, he's still holding on to the AK, trying to make some progress. And I think he's just going to use himself as a sacrificial lamb, right? He can get some information. He's ahead of the pack. If he's too close to his teammates, they might be able to uh, or fail the trade. He'll drop a smoke behind. And, oh, there's the peak. Wow, he baits Floppy into swinging out. I mean, he read that with prescience. Dude, Mouse Sports, they could very well finish this half 8-7, yeah. and I wouldn't be too shocked. And we know what they did when they swapped sides on Vertigo. That is massive momentum. Absolutely. Two players for Cloud9 survive at the end of this. Four up for Mouse Sports. That's money in their back pockets. It's going to be guns to the end of days. Yeah. Shine a spotlight on that fact. The adjustments are there. The confidence is still there. And look, more open. Another opening kill he gets. I, what, are, what is his opening kill percentage? I feel like we're going to have to call a maniac for these stats. Robs will get a frag of zone. Yeah, but he gets traded out by Woxic. Let's see if the op can stop this rampage from Mouse Sports. Frozen doesn't even need to see. As he still had Woxic in the crosshair before that pop flashed. And to Cloud9 last map. Yep. Spot on. Damage through the smoke. That could be enough. I mean, they've got nowhere else to go, nothing else to do. Let's see it, Floppy. 1v3, shut down by Chris J. Mouse Sports with a phenomenal close to the T side. Six rounds in a row. Grenades exchanged. Essatag looking for that entry. Who's going to fall first? Frozen at the hands of Floppy. Kerrigan just coming through that smoke to chip one back. But Mezzi blinded through the smoke finds Kerrigan. All of a sudden, it's BMAS with the one and done. Robs comes in from Banana. He's looking to combine with Chris J, but he gets shut down. Mouse Sports looking like they're going to tie things up at eight. Chris. 
What can you deliver? They are showing him absolutely nothing. Very patient post plant from Cloud9. And the moment they know he's in the open, they're all going to sweep out for him. And Alex making sure it goes down easy. Cloud9, two round lead. God, they were jealous. They want to siphon some of this cash out. Oh, they coming through that? Yes, they are. Looking close. Frozen, are you ready? Smoke fades. Frozen, easy pickup. And the second kill is his as well. Just serving as an anchor behind these sandbags. But he gets double mollied into the open. And then all of a sudden, we've got Cloud9 back with three kills. Woxic taking down two. But look at the HP left over. They've got a minute on the clock. And two players from Mouse Sports to try and take this away from them. B site for the fourth round in a row. Well, that should not have gone so well. Frozen with the opening two kills. Bomb drop behind enemy lines and not a team nearby to trade out. However, with the amount of HP remaining, mm -hmm. wouldn't be half surprised if Mouseports pulled this off, if there's anyone that could do it. Cinderi goes deep. That one's on the money. Gonna push a player into the open. Flash was meant to save him. Two kills from BMAS. Oh, it's all three. They clear them out of the corners. This is the hard part to suss out, but at this moment, no site is that bad to take. Flash towards the pit. Rops Ooh. blinded. Not even going to stop him for a second. There is still a player, however, above. Another repeat's going to cost Rops his head. Bmas down beneath it. Man advantage for Mouse Sports. Held on to with the bomb now on the corner. Poor Alex has nowhere to go but back to the depths of which he came. Time is the issue. That's a ninth round for Mouse Sports and their CT side already starting to solidify as they win two consecutive rounds after three in a row. And then Kerrigan gets over in time before the commitment comes in. Frag Grenade goes deep onto Coffin. That's good for half of Chris J's health. And he is only working with the MP7. Kerrigan's damage lines a couple up, but it's Frozen with a headshot. 15 seconds on the clock. A player jumping over. Frozen, labored spray. It's Alex to get a double. Kerrigan could challenge. He swings all the way out. Sprays for the bomb plant, but can't stop it. Alex is on a tear. Finally hits the dirt. It's BMAS back in with another B take. Can he close it? Essa tag in the open. Looking for the distanced headshot. But now he's going to take to the top of the barrels, and that bomb is halfway gone. BMAS getting all the closer. Rops rounds the corner first to fall, and BMAS does it all. Three mass, all three inside of the B retake once again, stopping them from overtaking. Construction with the double peak look a little bit uncomfortable. It feels like they're kind of learning as they go. Big aggression, just trying to take down these upgraded pistols. Now the respect been thrown out the window as have the first three corpses. Cloud9 down to Floppy and Essa tag just as quickly as they can run up mid. One kill comes in for Cloud9, but that's it. Mouse Sports, they're tying this game at 11 rounds apiece. Feels like his confidence to put himself out there has been rewarded time and time again. Oh, they're gonna hear that. Oh, that's gonna result in a kill as well. And it activates the push from Rops. Absolutely clinical with the double spray down. He ha never over flicks this guy. You give him one second to turn around and he will destroy you. One smoke for Essatag, a triple set of flashbangs. But they're within a smoke from their opponents. This is going to be five rounds in a row for Mouse Sports if they can close the 5v2. Sure enough, Frozen finds one through it. Poor Essatag being hunted, trying to fight his way out. Despite being boxed in, takes a second headshot, but Mouse Sports are on fire and Mouse Sports are in the lead. Fidget and fight for it. Mouse Sports just kind of stalking their prey before they start killing it round after round. BMAS double. Good flashbangs in mid, but Kerrigan dunks it onto Alex. Essatag's going to challenge up Banana, but the poor guy gets quick scope by Chris J. If anybody is going to make a flank valuable, it's him. And Chris J, he's not shy either. They're going to delay this commitment. This allows Rops to really get in position. And with Chris J killing the players on Banana, Rops just taps into the back of the head of Essatag. Another fight for him, but it's Mezzi to try and take this. 22 health and three more players lie ahead. The silver lining is there's only one on this A site. If he can somehow get out from balcony, best frozen and bomb plant, then maybe he hangs on here. 
But it's not the favorable duel he would hope for, and Mouse Sports now two rounds away. That's what you love to see. Well, all right, Robs is... Man, if Robs is not going to die with these Hulk pushes, he's going in again. Dude, they are so confident now. Oh, they're almost... It doesn't matter. Yeah, they're boiling over. Even with a couple players lost, Kerrigan's here to pick up some pieces. It was damage done. He's going to have to be a Claymore. Once they walk around this corner, he's going to have to take him down. Let's see if the T's are disjointed. It's perfect. Mezzi comes in right before Kerrigan was about to try and pop off. How about a 2v3 retake? It's been a little while. Four rounds in a row by way of elimination for Mouse Sports. We finally got Cloud9. A couple, a fortunate round here, a yeah. really strong round there. But the really strong round part is escaping me because it feels like Mouse Sports have a lot of strong answers at the moment for the early round engagements. And even when they're throwing what looks like a Hail Mary with a random push, they're leaving top mid open. They're going for the late molly and they might push behind it. Okay, here's the re-aggression. Here's Huge the first fight. pass and the opening kill for Chris. Starts putting bullets down through the half wall. No follow-up other than the first kill. Still a minute on the clock. This is an awkward position, and time continues to tick. This is going to be left down to the wire. Frozen just takes back to quad. He has support from Chris. Nice op shot to keep the edge in the hands of Mouse Sports, and Frozen whips it back. Every kill coming in for the CT side. A flawless 15th round. Yeah, that's it. it couldn't even be handled any better. And now it's a last ditch effort. 13 to 15. Cloud9 need to get fifth, get to OT just to get to a third map. Mouse Force can end it here and now. They lose the opening kill again to Chris. He has been impactful. He now ties BMAS at the top of the scoreboard for Mouse Sports. 21 kills to his name. And this op's gonna go hunting, but it's gonna get blinded, in fact. S attack, that's the support they needed. So many bodies for Cloud9 trying to overwhelm this site. They've got two members in the back of it. BMAS standing tall. Three kills for him. It's all on Mezzi, and he dies to the nade. Mouse Sports make it to the Blast Fall Final. What a win. Congratulations to Mouse Sports. That is an enormous victory. They take down the Colossus when the Juggernaut couldn't. What else is there to say? It comes close in the end.